Hi guys, it's Rob from Royal Balls. Clutch 4 is on the ground and this video we pull the clutch. This is a head to head pairing and it is an asphalt head pied head clown male to a pastel head pied female. Both of these snakes are proven so we do know that the male is asphalt so we're trying for asphalt pieds. The female laid a little bit early. Um, she laid 48 days after ovulation and typically it's 50 plus days which is an indication of how warm it's been out here just recently. All my snakes seem to be laying a little bit early. Alright guys let's get this clutch pulled and we'll take a look at the eggs. I've had some fantastic clutches to date with some really really nice eggs and people have been commenting how do I do it? Well, we'll see in this particular instance that it isn't actually all plain sailing. All right, guys, we have another clutch to pull this morning, clutch number four. And here's the pre-prepared egg box, and I already topped it up with water to the required 880 grams. So this has been sitting in the incubator, ready for the eggs for some time. So we just top the water up back to the original weight. And here is the female, this is a pastel het pied and she has laid two days early on day 48. Again, an indication of how warm the temperatures have been just recently. So she is pastel het pied. So this rather ordinary looking guy here, who is actually in shed, is the sire of that clutch. And he is an asphalt het pied het clown. So it's a het to het pairing and we're hoping to hit asphalt pieds. It's a bit of a long shot, a one in four for het to het and then a 50-50 shot at asphalt. But asphalt pieds will look very similar to yellow belly pieds or pumpkin pieds, but obviously has the potential for several other allelic combinations. So yes, we're doing a het to het pairing not my preferred route for pairings such as this but that female is an ideal candidate to try out with this male so that's the sire she had laid early this morning when i checked but i was a little bit busy so it is now uh, coming up for one o'clock in the afternoon and she is well finished uh, no rush we don't use heat mats out here but my snake room is at almost 30 degrees centigrade so there's no danger of the eggs actually getting chilled so let's get this girl off the eggs and into a bath of water One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs. These two are still joined and still quite damp. And we just checked the female here. You can see that she's totally hollow. All those eggs have gone. So she's totally empty and off into a bath of water. These two eggs here, I will put at the front of the egg box so that I can see to make sure that they do actually dry up a little bit. Let's get them marked up. As they lay is how they stay. And we'll try and get all these in the egg box without splitting them up. Let's see if they'll lift off the paper. There we go, all still in one clump and those are the eggs, they fit together quite nicely in the egg box. As I say these ones have gone a little, they're a little damp here, a little bit worried about these but they should dry up and you'll see they're actually still joined, they didn't break apart here. I'll just show you that. 
see here the eggs are actually still joined to each other. So eight eggs with no slugs. They do sit very nicely in the egg box and if you don't break them apart they're not going to roll anywhere. Lots of room down the side, they're not touching the side at all. So let's get these candled. Good veins, good veins, good veins. This one has veins down this side, good veins. That has good veins, the embryo is right here. This also has good veins down the side here. And excellent veins also on this one here. So these two damp eggs here have excellent veins. And here is the clutch card. Uh, so eight eggs with no slugs, but two of those eggs look a little bit dodgy. So I've just pulled the camera back a little bit for you guys so that you can see. Female is in a tub of water. And she is going to get a fully refreshed tub. So just a couple of squirts of washing up liquid in here, hand soap, we'll get her washed off. There she goes, we'll get a weight on her. See if I can persuade her into this tub here. And she weighs 18 1840 grams after laying those eggs. 1840 grams. So there she is guys in a nice refreshed tub. Back in the rack to rest up and we'll see if we can get her eating. So we did lose these two eggs guys from that clutch, uh, they stayed very wet and the two eggs were not properly formed, they looked like they were joined in the middle and actually leaking into each other so the internal membranes had also not properly formed and you can see the fluid has leaked out all over the eggs and by the smell of these eggs these are already dead. Uh, so just a couple of days after laying we lost those two eggs that I pointed out on the day that they went into the egg box I pointed those two eggs out and said that I'd need to keep an eye on them and it does look as if we've lost them guys so eight egg clutch six eggs remaining from that het pied girl not much I could have done about that I did try and tie off to see whether they would heal but they've obviously not done so so these ones are done guys. You can see down there, it's uh, pretty nasty down there. What to do? So we had eight eggs but very quickly those two damp eggs went bad. I suspect there's something wrong with the sealing membranes inside the egg since they were twisted together uh, like a Christmas cracker and actually not separated into separate eggs and the fluids from inside the egg was clearly leaking out of that join. I did try to seal it with a little bit of dental floss and at that stage one egg was really bad so after sealing it I cut that one off and threw that one away but the other egg didn't make it either. So not much to be done about that and they did go bad very very quickly within a couple of days of them being in the incubator. 
So that's a shame. We're left with six eggs and it is a het to het pairing. So a one in four shot at visual pies and only six eggs left. So there we are. Not all plain sailing and not all clutches work out. I'll be producing my monthly roundup shortly and I will release that. My son has been out here on holiday so I've been a little bit busy and short of time for making videos but I'll give you that roundup sometime in the coming week. So thanks for watching, don't forget to share, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.